There's a big problem here in the city of Detroit, prosecuting misconduct. When your overzealous prosecutors have the ability to withhold evidence, uh, control forensic experts, there are things going on that are uh, having our getting our, having our youth caught up in getting, <coughs> excuse me, our youth are being uh, caught up in a system of recidivism, put back into the system, and it's all based off of a lot of uh, mishandling of evidence. And in my particular case, in general, withholding the 911 tape, they could have easily exonerated me. Uh, video experts that I had to hire just to get actual physical copies of the video unencrypted. And these are things that uh, these prosecutors have the ability to do, control of evidence. I uh, have to go through a 13 month period of between uh, uh, being bailed out of Wayne County Jail and put on house arrest, held it with a tether, monitoring device, had to be in at a certain time, uh, possibility could have lost both jobs, $50,000 worth of debt as far as uh, attorney fees, uh, bond, uh, just paying for the tether per month, and eventually was exonerated at the last 13 months of the actual, from the day it happened, going in front of a jury of my peers and seeing that the truth was pretty much just obvious, four hours in deliberation and was able to walk out as a free man. But one thing that I did not walk out with was really a peace of mind. I'm, because looking at how many other people were railroaded in the same situation I was in, it's just unsettling and it hurts my heart today. Uh, stories like Devontae Stanford, I, you know, I, actually Devontae was released right during the time I was walking into trial and I thought to myself, you know, this could, that could have easily been me. You know, I, have a 30, I have an eight year old daughter and facing 30 years, you figure I would have missed an entire, entire life. I mean, it is, it is, it's unfortunate that you know, we don't, you know, as a working citizen, you don't have a $50,000 put up just to fight a case, you know, just for your freedom. You don't, that's not something that you have sitting, sitting around. So when something like this happens, it, it, it catches you off guard. And that's the problem when the, uh, the prosecutor has unlimited money and you're working off a budget and it's supposed to be justice, but there's no moral justice at all in this.